how do you guys feel about waffles and cream closing, man? Yo, I I yeah. literally just popped a waffles and yeah, cream. Yeah, yeah, fresh popped the tea. That was lazy. So so, you know. I always like what they put out, man. So I just hope they could definitely still maintain. And regardless, man, I feel like once they just do more pop-ups, either themselves or at other people's events, whatever, they'll be fine, man. Start a website. Even up Instagram, like in Nigeria, like buying things on Instagram is like a big culture. Don't they already do, don't they already do that? I don't know if, I don't know if you can order online and they deliver, I'm not sure, but they probably do it. Okay. But I feel like they should promote that more. Okay. Okay, yeah. fair. Fair. Yeah. Fair. I always, I always feel like people, you know, stores are very expensive, man. I don't know the type of money some people are getting, but stores are expensive. Like rent, you don't want to be thinking of rent every month when it's not even like you're making so much and everything's already like, do you feel me? Well, we can never know how much they're making, obviously. And now it's yeah, something. but like, bruh, I don't know, man. That location and everything is not going to be cheap. Fair, fair. And, um, Oh, it meant a lot to the culture, man. That whole skating. Yeah. Remember when we went, man? Even the shop. Yeah. Let, let me also take this back because I don't know if they closed because of rent. I'm just saying in general. Okay, yes. fair. Yeah, yeah, so. No, but, but yeah. didn't it go because of the whole COVID situation? So I'm, I'm assuming it's because people couldn't move, like yeah. move around, and they still had to pay their rent. Yeah. Mm. I'm assuming. In fact, we're all just that's assuming. Definitely, that's definitely a very reasonable assumption. Yeah. What, what yeah. do we? What do we even know? Tobias, from your from your perspective, what's the uh, you know the the Nige youth fashion culture looking like? Wavy man. Everyone has talent. Uh, okay. Yeah, shout out to Colts as well. Man. Shout out to Colts. You know, Joey. Joey's doing some amazing things with that brand, man. <laughs> Carry on, carry on. Yeah, 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 I'm just saying calls, calls everywhere, man. Obviously, you know, Dio helped <clears throat> make it get big for sure. The photo shoot they did was fresh. It seems like everyone is buying a cult t shirt and cult uh, bucket hat these days, man. So. Everyone's part of the cult. Yeah, calls army. <laughs> call army. Hashtag call army. And he does. He actually orders everything from LA. Funny enough, so it's not even like. Shout out to severe nature. Still moving out here strong for sure. Shout out to everyone. The only the thing this year that I feel like I I didn't see last year was sneakers. Oh uh, yeah. Chris Boom obviously he sells like some slippers that are really fresh right now, and he has some sneakers there. And, like that was the only like store that basically has sneakers Who? So I feel like a lot of people don't really get into sneakers in night as far as making and selling all that so. if, if, if night guys makes um trainers would you buy i would how many how many nice people would buy if bro if they're actually just comfortable and very practical like vans like if vans was nigerian made like that type of style i'll definitely buy them for sure Fair. Like we all, you know, we all came up buying toms, man. If if, if, if I could buy toms, I can buy anything. You got the wet toms out here. Bias, you wet toms. Bias, you had toms. I remember, you had like five. Everyone like, had toms. Oh my god, one, bro, chill. Bro, I, had I had like four. Bias had red. Yeah, I had one. No, you had red, I think yeah. I went for like a week. No, you had red, blue, white, and you had white twice. How? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I go to your house, I'll be saying, uh, <laughs> you yeah. white and two, you both white and gray. I remember yeah. I had I had black, navy blue, gray, and army green. I had those four, yeah. Man, I don't blue. Sounds like crazy, man. Sounds like I think about yeah, so it. Who buying it, Tom? Who watched us? Bro, I don't even think, it just came one summer, and it was so affordable, and they had this whole thing of, if you buy one, you give the less privilege. No, no, kind of... Well, check this out. People from other, I don't know, scenes, races, cultures, yeah. they're not like, it was, it's kind of like, um, what's, what's something that white people already do naturally that we just made a thing and, it, you know, just a typical, I don't know, I don't want to say typical black shit, but... I get what you mean, I get what you mean. It's thing that normal white guys would probably just wear anyway. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to JD. I need, I'm going to the beach. Let me get... Yeah, but I get what you mean. Who, who generated this whole thing, guy? Nick, every Nigerian, bro, was yeah, I don't know. I feel like, should I say what I think? What? I think it's because it was in Selfridges. That's what oh. me, I think. 
because when you think about it, me personally, I never saw any advert for Tom's. I didn't see a single celebrity that made me want to get it. Yeah. No influencer. We just want some. That's just as well. You just seen it like, what is this be about? Like, I didn't even, something that's all all for you. Everyone bought it at the same time. No one had it before anyone. No, not everyone. Yeah, no one. I know it went to the store to go and buy it themselves. It kept on spreading. You know, also all buy it at the same time. When you look back on it. Yeah, how did I think about it? Because a bunch of people had it, and then before you know it, it's kind of like when all when the Jordan space happened, and all of a sudden, like certain guys that never wore trainers in their lives are rocking Jordan. Like a lot of guys are looking weird with the same Jordan. <laughs> you go to a I'm party. Now again, swag. Ten guys have, guys have great Jordans. <laughs> yeah, let, let me tell you the uh, power of Tom's. Yeah, people went to Tom's with trad suits. <laughs> Blazers, <laughs> jeans, shorts, to the beach, every anywhere and everywhere we went Tom's. To play, yeah, the other thing Tom's Astro Turf, man. Yeah, for sure. With socks, without socks, yeah. Shout out to Tom's, man. They really they washed everyone, man. Yeah, they didn't wash everyone. Nigeria just washed not everyone. Yeah, everyone thought Tom's were fresh, guy. I'm not. I'm not saying they weren't fresh. I'm just saying that it was. It wasn't like they like. You know, as if they, they didn't, like you said, they didn't market it to us. Yeah, they didn't market it. Just, there was somebody, some hidden Nigerian guy, a group of guys that just started rocking it and all of a sudden. Because do you also remember the black Tomosabo beads? Yeah, yeah. Like 30 pounds. Why did everybody have one after a while? This is what I'm, me, I'm just going to credit Selfridges. That's what I'm telling you. I know that it's never rocking those. Selfridges is like the central spot for everyone, just whether you're window shopping or actually shopping. So anything you see, it's just like, okay, it's fresh, it's part of the culture, and you must have it. Fair. Like, so I came right after that, like, links, bracelet phase, man. Fair. Fair. Okay, so let me ask you, what's the difference between sneakers, trainers, and canvas? I think trainers are... Trainers are British. I think sneakers are American. Yeah. Canvas is Nigeria. Yeah. Where did Nigeria guys get canvas from? I really don't know. Since primary school, man, it's a house for match pass. Do you have your canvas? Yeah. You if I no Nigerian ever told me sneakers or trainers in my life growing up, everyone's got canvas around me. Everybody. So yeah. And in fact, in London, I don't really hear guys say sneakers like uh, trainers, trainers, trainers. Yeah, well, man. Crepes. Where go go about your crepes? Yeah, crepes. Yeah, crepes. Yeah. The Alternative Network.